dive into it. First, I must say, packaging. If I was to rate it a 10 out of 10, it's definitely a 10. Alright, so, in the box. I already opened this box up already. So, y'all gonna have to bear with me. Got an instruction manual. And I'll put the specs right there for y'all. RMS is 75 watts. Max is 150. The range is 50 hertz to 20,000 hertz or 20 kilohertz. Uh, the cone definitely is carbon fiber. Yes. So <clears throat> we got a one and a half inch voice coil. You want another magnet weight? That would be 30 ounces. And it is a four ohm speaker. And from what I've read about these things, they said they match perfectly with the, the um, Resilient Sounds tweeter. And I plan on getting a set. I'm not going to go crazy with the tweeters. I'm just going to get a set for the inside of the cabin. And I might throw a set in the doors as well. Because these here are going to my rear doors. Uh, Y'all going to have to stay tuned to see how many I actually do. I'm ordering sets as I can. And it's going to give me something to do here in the springtime. With door pods and stuff like that. Or just a all out door build. But man these things look great. Look at them. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. I'm getting a little excited. But yeah, I really like them. And the back side is just... Hold on, wait. Let me wipe it down. Oh! Let's take a look. I got a little fingerprint right there, but we'll get rid of that. Y'all tell me what y'all think. That is one... Oh, y'all can see my face in it. Hello! But that's definitely a nice speaker. So, this is the ES... 65C, they're on sale right now, 109 bucks for a pair, you do get a set, push terminals, tensile leads are sewn to the spider, push terminals feel very high quality, yep, I like it, yep, saw the joints look great, these things I look for, that right there, that just put the icing on the cake for me because sometimes I can have a little OCD. And that carbon fiber feels good. So, that's how they come. Here's the other one all packaged up. Looks really clean. Same thing. Push terminals feel really good. But these are nice. Very, very nice. So, <clears throat> with that being said... And it's packaged very well. Even the the styrofoam has a little recess to it. I guess it's from the speakers, but had to keep it from uh, moving around. So that's my first first box. What the heck is this, y'all? We got a DS one sixty by two. It's one hundred and sixty watts, two ohms. And let y'all see. That's how the wiring goes. So I can wire up four speakers, but I think it's a two channel amp. So let's pull it out. Whoa! I opened it up already. But I had to say whoa again because I'm still trying to get adjusted to that. I mean, my God. Thumbs up for my sock. But, yeah. My goodness. Fresh off work, too, so y'all excuse my hands. So, it's a two-channel. Positive and negative. Remote. And then it looks like it takes high-level inputs. I'll figure that out. <clears throat> Just so that I can run this thing. I thought it was... I had to get it, y'all. Look at it. It's so good. But, yeah. So... There he is. Got a two channel Terra ramp. Tar ramp, some people like to call. Well, I like to say Terra. I don't know why. I'm very familiar, but I prefer it my way. Right, so we got a Tar ramps DS440 by 4. So let's go on and slice it open. Of course, y'all remember good old slicer? 
Go ahead and give it a, a whip. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah. Got an instruction manual. Uh -huh. A little bitty manual. And then we got some little bitty stickers. Those are always cool. <clears throat> Big Vill likes stickers. So I'm already Big Vill approved with this. And this is the amp. Take another peek. Size of my hand on it. I can palm it. It's definitely palmable. So I kind of get an idea of the size. The same size as a large hand, I should say. And uh, it's definitely a four channel. And it's weird how they bridge them. Gotta let me get them. So basically, positive, negative, positive, negative. You hear me out again? Positive, negative, positive, negative. So basically, you're taking your speakers, the positive and negative of, let's say, two speakers. You would take positive and negative, loop them together in there, and then positive and negative. Or you can just bridge it. But I like to run it regular. On this side, you got your crossover. High pass, low pass, full. Gains. And your inputs for your RCAs. I look forward to that. In comparison, I had the TS 400 by 4 That one does bass. This one is just for mids and highs. And this is in my car currently. And I love this thing. Um... I've played it for hours and hours and hours on end. He sings to do a great job. It's just a nice amp for the dollar. You can't go wrong with it if you're running mids and highs. So I got two amps. I know you guys are probably wondering, why didn't you just buy one big amp? Because I prefer it my way. What can I say? Plus, I mean, to tell you the truth, I actually thought about grabbing the MD-12K and then, um... Just taking one of my 8Ks and running all my mids and highs off of it. And then crossing over whether it's active or passive. But I decided to go a different route. So I got another set of ES65Cs. And I'm just checking this one because I got a little ding in the corner of the box because of shipping. And that's normal and expected. But the way this box is made and the way it's packaged, I... Had no worries. So everything is undamaged. Nothing's wrong. I just cannot wait to get these things going. Y'all stay tuned for another video. I might hook up a set in the room. And of course, I have the box here. So, that's all three sets of the ES65 Seeds. Shout out to Rob. I really appreciate you. Um, keep up the great work over there. Um, bro, it's just an understatement, man. You have a really, really good thing going on here. Resilient Sounds, I mean, I would recommend this company to anybody. People, oh, you're nut hugging, you're nut hugging. No, because I would recommend Sundown. I would recommend Fi for audio. I would recommend uh, Orion. I love the Black Core ACCAs. Uh, DC Audio, my boy Rusty over there. Man, there is so many great companies out here. PSI, come on, man. Platform level 345. Do we have to say any more? Um, one of my favorite Sundown Wolfers, of course, is Nightshade. Um, and then after that would be the Z, Z5, Z4. Um, then after that would be the X. I mean, I, I, I love car audio. I love, oh, I forgot. I forgot all about my, my friends with the tight round coils. And the tight gaps. We got DD Audio. DD. Oh my goodness. Um, definitely, hands down, one of my favorites. Especially the Neo Sub, the Supercharged. Um, then you got Sound Cube American Bass. They kind of follow like the same. I ain't going to say it's the same, but their designs are very similar. And some of their parts I've heard have been interchangeable. But I mean, there are so many different companies out here that are great. So when you just hear me talk about one, don't think I forgot about the others. Um, so, man, there's so many other people out here that don't have car audio companies, but they catering to us car audio guys. Uh, you got 
uh, people like Slam Panda, you got Ill Customs, um, Toolmaker, shouts out to you, bro. I really appreciate you too. And you got the installers, you got these different shops that just cater to the community. All you guys are assets. Uh, you got other YouTubers um, besides myself that just make this hobby a little bit better. And I really appreciate y'all too. And, and people are like, oh man, you know about this guy's channel? Uh, you probably don't know about him because he's probably a competition. Uh, competition. Ain't no competition with me on YouTube or anybody else, I would think or I would assume. Because I look at it, it's a community, y'all. We all help each other out. And if uh, you guys have channels that you think I might not be subscribed to, or if, if it's just your channel, you come to my channel and you're checking out, um, man, let me know. Because, like I said, things are growing and um, things are moving fast for me. Uh, I got so much stuff going on. I can only remember so much. I can only do so much. Um, I try to get at least a good hour in a day with, you know, on YouTube where you know, I'm watching videos and just trying to keep up with everybody else. And I just realized I'm subscribed to a bunch of you guys. And I love it, man. I love all the things that you guys are doing. Keep up the great work. I don't say that. I don't comment that just to, just to, oh, it's a random comment. No, I really mean it. Keep up the great work. I can't wait to check out the builds. I'm, I'm seeing the upgrades. Well, I guess you could say it's an improvement too. But, okay, I'm rambling now because I'm getting excited because I'm looking at this stuff here and I cannot wait to put it in. Oh.